Welcome, 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 fellow peacemakers. Thank you for coming back and joining me. I have put together this little video. It's not very long, but um, just a little something simple. Uh, I'm grilling some beef ribs, and I just wanted to uh, show you guys how to do it, just in case you have never grilled beef ribs before. You know, as you can see, it's very thick, very tender meat you know especially if you cook it the right way so I'm really excited to bring you the video and I'm getting ready to show you how everything turned out stay tuned all right all right so the fire is now lit I'm waiting for those coals to turn nice uh, ash color <laughs> then we're we'll ready to get started all right, so we have these delicious beef ribs coated with salt, pepper, chili powder. Um, I use granulated garlic, granulated salt, some adobo seasoning as well. Man, looks good. Let's get ready to go on this hot grill right here. Very nice and ready. Okay. Just be careful how you place them. You gotta make sure that you keep like a hot side of the grill and a cold side of the grill. So when they're ready, you don't have to um, worry about them burning. You can just move them over to the cold side of the grill. So I'm going to get all these loaded up on the grill, and I'll be right back. Alright, got the big boy on there. Okay. Now it doesn't look like I have seasoned on the back of these, but I actually do. It's really heavily salted and like a double seasoned. I mean, I'm not going to put too much seasoning on it because it is the back of the rib, but you do want some kind of flavor. So, move these around a little bit. Keep it there, buddy. Okay. This one here. <clears throat> I just got off work not too long ago, so really wanted some ribs. So I'm like, hey, let's just go. Get some and uh, get more. This is such a beautiful day here. I'm not going to let it just go to waste. Looks good. All of these are on there. And we're going to come back in a few minutes to show them. All right. And now it is time to check. Let's see what's going on. Mm -hmm. Okay. That looks all right. Let's see. I'm sure there's some of it. Yeah. All right. So I can already tell my hot side, well, the hot side of the grill rather, is in the middle. So I'm going to move some of these that need the attention inside that spot. So I'm going to check my big boy right here. Oops. Here. 
So this is my cool spot. So we do this over here. Get some more color here. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Alright, cool. Okay, this up right here. Bad boys cook some more. Be right back. And we are back. Check out our deliciousness. Mm -hmm. Everything is coming along very, very, very well. Definitely so gonna get some more smoke in there. More color. Everything. Now I do have so sweet baby ray, sweet and spicy barbecue spot, barbecue sauce on the stove top, heating up with some lemon juice. Because I do like those um, flavors. I think that's gonna be great to top the words off. Alright, so basically I'm gonna keep rotating them until they are nice and golden back. So I'll see you back in there. Smoked up, but nice and where I want them to be. Yeah, you see like this color? This is beautiful too. Mm -hmm. This is absolutely beautiful. So I want all of them to look like that. So I'm just gonna be here and re rearranging things. So I can get that color on the other side. And I'm gonna put them in the oven for about 30 minutes to an hour. Just depends on how much, um, how much time I actually leave it on here. Thinking about leaving it on here for maybe another hour. At a low point. So I'm going to close my vent up top after I get the color I want and then just let it smoke. So yeah, I'll show you guys what it looks like once I'm done. All right, and so we are back. It looks like everything is coming along very nicely here. Now, whenever you're cooking ribs, at least one thing I like to go by, a little bit closer. This is my daughter filming now. Um, you gotta get like that nice little charred part, or like the little crispiness to the back part of the ribs, which this may need a little bit more time, but I'm not, it doesn't have to be completely crisp up. But I like it to have some sort of a crisp to it. And so, we're gonna start saucing them right now. Okay. And of course, you can hear a little man in the background. Very excited about everything. Another thing too that you should pay attention to is towards the edge of the bone when you see the meat starting to kind of pull away from that like right here that's when you're in business so we're going to put two layers of sauce on here and this is a sweet baby rays sweet and spicy and lemon juice So I'm gonna go ahead and finish saucing these up and then I'll be right back with you. All right, so I have the back of them nice and sauced up. Now, when you're gonna get a better view of it, I'm gonna have to let my phone charge up a bit so I can get my flash to work. But in that time, I should be able to give you a nice picture of everything. But then I'm gonna take everything in the kitchen too, so be able to get a nice view of how everything looks. But yeah, I think it's going to be fantastic. Get all of these turned over, sauced up. And 
and I'll be right back. All right, all right. So here they are off the grill. Now, I do like to cook them in the oven for at least a good 30 more minutes, you know, just to make sure they're nice and tender because beef ribs can be very, very thick, especially if you get them cut right. So these have been double sauced and I put them, I left them on the grill for about a good 10 minutes just to make sure the sauce and everything was good. And what I like to do is test the sauce to see if it makes that nice little crusty sound. Good to go. So I'm going to put a little more sauce on it. I'm going to put it back in the oven, like I said, for about 30 minutes. And then it should be perfectly tender and ready to eat. I have a newfound love for grilling. Um, my father used to grill a lot, but I learned a lot from my husband, actually. He was the one that taught me how to cook beef ribs, particularly because I always ate pork growing up, you know? Um, but since I stopped, beef has been my thing, you know? And you know, you get a lot of good meat for your money, you know? As long as you know how to cook it right, make sure it's nice and tender, you should have a really, 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 really good product on your hands. So yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these bad boys, um, sauced up in the oven for another 30 minutes as I said before and we're good to go it's one of my favorite songs I'm probably gonna get copyrighted for it too but you know it's all right yeah this is gonna be good all right guys so when it's done I will bring it right back to you Okay, and here is the finished dinner. I love it. I love it. Looks great, man. Now, what I like to do to test the tenderness to make sure that everything is nice and tender, I use my butter knife and go to one of the thickest parts of the rib. And if it goes through very easily, you're good to go. In this case, it does. You see how it kind of tears away from the bone a little bit? Yeah, it's nice and tender. Now, I did cook this for um, an hour. I said I was going to do it like for 30 minutes to an hour, so I wound up doing it to, for an hour. But anyway, thank you all for watching. I do appreciate you stopping by. And, you know, when I do get time, I'll make some more cooking videos because I do know that you guys like those. So, and I did want to make sure that you guys know that I actually can cook. Now, I wasn't on video tonight. Um, as I said, I got off work. I am tired. I didn't feel like going to spruce up anything. But, you know, I still wanted to get you guys, you know, to let you guys see what I'm cooking and how I do it. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you guys later. I'm going to go eat.